Our mass presider is Reverend Father Marlon M. Reyes, SSS. Please stand. Behold, the Lord will come, descending with splendor to visit his people with peace, and he will bestow on them eternal life. Hear the word of the Lord, O nations, Declare it to the distant lands. Behold, our Savior will come. You need no longer fear. Behold, the Lord will come. Descending with splendor to visit His people with peace. And he will bestow on them eternal life. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, today the church celebrates the memorial of Our Lady of Guadalupe, patroness of the Americas, patroness of the Philippines. Today we also join our brothers and sisters from Our Lady of Guadalupe, uh, GKK, no? uh, happy, happy fiesta to all of you. And we are still in the spirit of the Advent season. We continue to prepare for the coming of Christmas, for the coming of the Lord. Let us prepare ourselves, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. We humbly say, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in I what had done and I what failed to do, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me Lord, to the Lord, Lord our God. God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, Father of mercies, who placed your people under the singular protection of your Son's most holy mother, grant that all who invoke the Blessed Virgin of Guadalupe may seek with ever more lively faith the progress of peoples in the ways of justice and of peace. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Zechariah. Sing and rejoice, O daughter Zion. See, I am coming to dwell among you, says the Lord. 
Many nations shall join themselves to the Lord on that day. They shall be his people, and he will dwell among you. And you shall know that the Lord of hosts has sent me to you. The Lord will possess Judah as his portion in the Holy Land, and he will again choose Jerusalem. Silence all mankind in the presence of the Lord, for he steers forth from his holy dwelling. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. You are the highest honor of our race. You are the highest honor of our race. Blessed are you, daughter, by the most high God, above all women on earth. And blessed be the Lord God, the creator of heaven and earth. You are the highest honor of our race. Your deed of hope will never be forgotten by those who tell of the might of God. You are the highest honor of our race. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Blessed are you, Holy Virgin Mary, deserving of all praise. From you rose the Son of Justice. Christ our, Christ our God. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. with you and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to luke glory to you o lord mary set out and traveled to the hill country in haste to a town of judah where she entered the house of zechariah and greeted elizabeth when elizabeth heard mary's greeting the infant Lipped in her womb, and Elizabeth, filled with the Holy Spirit, cried out in a loud voice and said, Most blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And how does this happen to me, that the mother of my Lord should come to me? For at the moment the sound of your greeting reached my ears, the infant in my womb leaped for joy. Blessed are you who believed that what was spoken to you by the Lord would be fulfilled. And Mary said, My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning, brothers and sisters. At maligayang maligayang kapistahan po sa ating Our Lady of Guadalupe, GKK. God bless you po. Asa na po ang mga taga GKK ng ano. Ayun. Happy Piesta po sa inyo. At sa, sa inyo pong GKK, to those who cannot come here, baka sila ay nanonood. Happy Piesta po sa inyong lahat. And we also uh, greet a very, very good morning, our brothers and sisters participating with us through our live streaming. May the blessing, healing, and presence of Jesus be with uh, all of you. 
Today is the feast of Our Lady of Guadalupe, and the Holy Father, Pope Francis, grants a plenary indulgence to anyone who celebrates this feast at home. So, we are so blessed, and, uh, you know, even if we cannot uh, have a visit or pilgrimage to any of, uh, to any Guadalupe shrine, it is Mary who will visit us in our homes. It is Mary who will visit us in our homes. Like what we have heard in the Gospel, it was Mary who visited Elizabeth in her home. Actually, today we have two options for the Gospel reading. I chose the one from the first chapter of Luke, verse 39 to 47, the visitation of Mary to her cousin Elizabeth. And today, we really pray that we may experience the joy of being visited by Mary, the joy of being visited by Our Lady of Guadalupe, the way she encountered Juan Diego. One thing from, from this visit of Mary to Elizabeth, you know, it was far. Mary from Nazareth going to the territory or town of Judah. I have never been there, but some people say it will be a week's walk. Isang linggo kang maglalakad. Going to that particular town. From the place of Mary going to Judah, the place or town of Elizabeth. And yet, Mary made an effort to visit her cousin Elizabeth. She traveled far to make that important visit, even though, even though it was so difficult for her. And remember, she was also pregnant. Imagine a pregnant woman walking that long, traveling that far. It was difficult, but she did it nonetheless. Dumalo pa din. She made that visit. Why? Maybe because Mary felt the need of her cousin, Elizabeth the need to be with someone, the need to be understood. She needed someone to understand her, to console her, to reach out to her. I think this is something that we must consider in our reflection today. We ask ourselves the question, are we a traveling church? Tayo ba ay simbahan na naglalakbay? Are we a church who reach out to others, especially those who are in need? Tayo ba ay simbahan na naglalakbay, nagpupunta, bumibisita, nagre-reach out sa iba para sila ay maunawaan, para matulungan, para mapaglingkuran, like Mary, do we reach out, do we go to others to understand their dreams, to understand their sorrows, to understand their pains? Bilang isang simbahan, mga magkakapatid na nagnanais tumulad kay Maria, tayo po ay inaanyayahan as true devotees of Mary, this is one invitation for us to reach out to people, especially those who need us most. Reach out to them. 
Let us reach out to others, especially those who need our presence. Maybe for now, not physically because of the pandemic, but there are so many ways, so many, many ways to reach out to others. Some people are thinking already that after, the, after this pandemic, I will go to this tourist spot. I will go to Boracay, I will go to Baguio, I will go to Siargao, I will go to uh, wherever. I hope we could think also and put in our mind in our hearts. After this pandemic, I will visit my friend. I will make a visit to, uh, to an orphanage. After this pandemic, I will visit someone who probably need us most. We can reach, but we can reach out now. Maybe uh, even through the digital way. But if possible, and especially when pandemic ends, let us reach out to people. Let us make that important visit to understand, to console, to give joy to our brothers and sisters who needs us most. Katulad ni Maria na naglakbay, patungo doon kay Elizabeth na nangangailangan ng kasama, na nangangailangan ng karamay. One thing is sure, Mary knows where to go. Alam niya kung saan siya dapat pumunta. Alam niya, nandoon sa napakalayong lugar si Elizabeth. Pero hindi iyon naging hadlang para siya ay pumunta doon. Why? Because she knows that her cousin, cousin needed her loving care. She knows that her cousin needed her loving presence. There is another beautiful trait in the person of the Blessed Mother. And Elizabeth noticed, noticed it when she said, And how does this happen to me, that the mother of my Lord should come to me? Elizabeth recognized the humility of Mary. While she is the mother of God, she remained humble. She never bragged about it and said, I am the mother of God, so you be the one who should come to me. Si Maria, bagamat siya ay ina ng Panginoon, nagpakababa to be able to reach out to her cousin Elizabeth. Hindi niya sinabi, ang dinadala kong ito sa sinapupunan ko ay ang Panginoon. Kaya kayo ang pumunta sa akin. Kaya kayo ang lumapit sa akin. I hope, my dear brothers and sisters, we can imitate that humility so that we can have true encounter with people. May mga tao po kasi ang taas-taas ng tingin sa kanilang sarili. Ito ang meron ako. Alam na alam ko na to. Pinag-aralan ko na yan. Kaya kayo ang makinig sa akin. This is what I have. I know this, I know that. And so you come to me. You know, if that is our attitude in life, believe me, there will be no real and joyful encounter. There will be no real visitation like what happened to Mary's visit to Elizabeth. There will be no miraculous encounter like what happened to Our Lady of Guadalupe and the Indian convert, Juan Diego. Let us make that visit, and in that visit, let us bring a humble, and contrite heart.
Mary is God's new beginning for our race. As we honor her today, let us join her in prayer to our Father and our Creator. For every prayer we will say, Father, let our lives magnify your power. Father, let our lives magnify your power. that the Church may grow towards the perfection of Mary, our destiny and our hope. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, let our lives magnify your power. That through prayer and penance, the world may enter an age of peace, which is the triumph of Mary's heart. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, let our lives magnify your power. That the pure of heart may promote decency and harmony throughout society. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, let our lives magnify your power. That Mary, who is full of grace, may help us in our pilgrimage. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, let our lives magnify your power. That our brothers and sisters who are afflicted by COVID-19, as well as those who are under monitoring and observation, be healed by the power of our Lord Jesus Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, let our lives magnify your power. That the frontliners and the many faceless heroes who risk their lives to combat COVID-19 be protected and strengthened by our Lord Jesus Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, let our lives magnify your power. That the dead, especially for the souls of Raul, Dorivik, Norma, Felito, Desdemona, Vicente, Felix, Juan, Placida, Teofisto, Francisco, Leoncia, Mena, Carmen, Blasilda, Bingle, Albert, Tomas, Socorro, Jose, and all souls in the purgatory may rejoice forever in the company of Mary and the saints. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, let our lives magnify your power. For the special intention of Elson and Vicky Tio, Ariel Reyes, Roel Sinfuego, let us pray to the Lord. Father, let our lives magnify your power. For the intentions also of the members of the Aggregation of the Blessed Sacrament and all SSS Eucharistic collaborators, let us pray to the Lord. Father, let our lives magnify your power. For the thanksgiving of Our Lady of Guadalupe, Dijo 3 GKK. In silence, let us pray for our own intentions. Father and Creator, hear us as we pray with Mary, Our Lady of Guadalupe, chosen before the world was made to be the mother of Jesus, your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, to become our bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. 
fruit of the vine and work of human hands to become our spiritual chain. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of His holy church. Receive, O Lord, we ask, the prayers of your people with the sacrificial offerings that through the intercession of Blessed Mary, the mother of your Son, no petition may go unanswered no request be made in vain through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints. And especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly, even to earth's ends, you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you look on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us through her the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voice as we pray join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna, in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna, in the highest. are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have. 
set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and the resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Romulo, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in art heaven, in heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy, thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come, thy will, will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily, daily bread, bread and, and forgive us our trespasses, as, as we forgive those who trespass, trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. of your body and blood, Lord Jesus Christ, not for me to judgment and condemnation. Your loving mercy be for me protection in my body and feeding my energy. Brothers and sisters, behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
waiting for Jesus like Mary. We're waiting for Jesus the Lord. Come down, Lord Jesus. Come quickly, Lord Jesus. The whole world is waiting for love. The whole world is waiting for love. We're laying a manger for Mary, a manger for Jesus the Lord. Come down, Lord Jesus, come quickly, Lord Jesus. The whole world is waiting for love. The whole world is waiting for love. We're making it lovely for Mary. So lovely for Jesus the Lord. Come down, Lord Jesus. Come quickly, Lord Jesus. The whole world is waiting for love. The whole world is waiting for love. Let us pray. As we receive this heavenly sacrament, we beseech, O Lord, your mercy, that we who rejoice in commemorating the Blessed Virgin Mary may, by imitating her, serve worthily the mystery of our redemption. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please kneel for the Oratio Imperata. All together, God our Father, we come to you in our need to usher protection against the COVID-19. Let us claim lives and has affected many. We pray for your grace for the people tasked with studying the nature and cause of this virus and these diseases and of stemming the tide of its transmission. Guide the hands and minds of medical experts that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion and of those government and private agencies that must find cure and solution to this pandemic. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health soon. We also pray for all who died because of this disease. Grant us the grace to work for the good of all and to help those in need. Grant this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Mary, help of all Christians. Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel. Pray for us. Saint Rock. Pray for us. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. Saint Pedro Calongsod. Pray for us. Stand. Muli po maligayang maligayang kapistahan sa ating GKK ng Our Lady of Guadalupe. Happy Feast Day and to all the churches under the patronage of 
Our Lady of Guadalupe. Happy Feast Day and may, may we all have a beautiful and holy and joyful encounter with people. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. We now begin our morning prayer. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine. O praise in all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Blessed be the holy and immaculate conception of the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God. Prayer to Our Lady of the Blessed Sacrament. Blessed are you, Mary, exalted daughter of Zion. You are highly favored and full of grace. For the Spirit of God descended upon you. We magnify the Lord and rejoice with you. For the gift of the Word made flesh, our bread of life and cup of joy. 
Our Lady of the Blessed Sacrament, our model of prayer in the Cenacle, pray for us that we may become what we receive, the body of Christ, your Son. Amen. Our Lady of the Blessed Sacrament, pray for us. Prayer in honor of St. Joseph. O Lord, may the merits of the spouse of your most holy mother assist us, so that what we cannot obtain through our own efforts, we may have through his intercession, you who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Prayer in honor of Saint Peter Julian Imard. Gracious God of our ancestors, you led Peter Julian Imard, like Jacob in times past, on a journey of faith. Under the guidance of your gentle spirit, Peter Julian discovered the gift of love in the Eucharist, which your Son Jesus offered for the hungers of humanity. Grant that he may celebrate this mystery worthily, adore it profoundly, and proclaim it prophetically for your greater glory. Amen. St. Peter Julian Amar, the Apostle of the Eucharist, pray for us. Prayer for the cause of Venerable Father Lodovico Longari. O Lord, you have called the Venerable Father Lodovico Longari to be a fervent adorer and passionate apostle of the Eucharist. Grant that your glory be manifested in him, and by the same grace, through his intercession, we invoke with confidence. O Mary, so honored by Father Lodovico as Immaculate, Sustain our prayer. Venerable Father Ludovico Longari, intercede for us. Our hymn is hymn number 53, The Master Came. God, come to my assistance. O oh Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. The Master came to bring good news, the news of love and freedom, to heal the sick and seek the poor, to build the peaceful kingdom. Father, forgive us through Jesus as we forgive one another. Through Jesus Christ, the lost fulfilled, the man who lived for others. The law of Christ is love alone to serve now all our brothers. Forgive one another To seek the sinners Jesus came To live among the friendless To show them love that they might share The kingdom that is endless Father, forgive us through Jesus, hear us as we forgive one another. Forgive us, Lord, as we forgive 
and seek to help each other. Forgive us, Lord, and we shall live to pray and work together. Father, forgive us through Jesus. Hear us as we forgive one another. Page 73 of the booklets, Saturday morning prayer. As morning breaks, we sing of your mercy, Lord. And night will find us proclaiming your fidelity. It is good to give thanks to the Lord, to make music to your name, O Most High. To proclaim your love in the morning And your truth in the watches of the night On the tenth string lyre and the lute With the murmuring sound of the heart Your did so, Lord, have made me glad For the work of your hands I shout with joy O Lord, how great are your works, how deep are your designs. The foolish man cannot know this, and the fool cannot understand. Though the wicked spring up like grass, and all who do evil try, they are doomed to be eternally destroyed. But you, Lord, are eternally on high. See how your enemies perish. All doers of evil are scattered. To me you give the wild ox's strength. You anoint me with the purest oil. My eyes look in triumph on my foes. My ears heard gladly of their fall. The just will flourish like the palm tree and grow like a Lebanon cedar. Planted in the house of the Lord, they will flourish in the courts of our God still bearing fruit when they are old, still full of sap, still green, to proclaim that the Lord is just. In Him I rock, there is no wrong. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Psalm prayer. Take our shame away from us, Lord, and make us rejoice in your saving works. May all who have been chosen by your Son always abound in works of faith, hope, and love in your service. Extol the greatness of our God. Give ear, O heavens, what I speak. Let the earth hearken to the words of my mouth. May my instruction soak in like the rain. And my discourse permeate like the dew, like a downpour upon the grass, like a shower upon the crops. For I will 
sing the Lord's renown. O oh, proclaim the greatness of our God, the rock how faultless are his deeds. How right all his ways, faithful God without deceit, how just and upright he is. Yet basely has he been treated by his degenerate children, a perverse and crooked race. Is the Lord to be thus repaid by you? O oh, stupid and foolish people, is he not your father who created you? Has he not made you and established you? Think back on the days of old. Reflect on the years of age upon age. Ask your father and he will inform you. Ask your elders and they will tell you. When the Most High assigned the nations their heritage, when he parceled out the descendants of Adam, he set up the boundaries of the peoples. After the number of the sons of God, while the Lord's or portion was Jacob, his hereditary share was Israel. He found them in a wilderness, a wasteland of howling desert. He shielded them and cared for them, guarding them as the apple of his eye. As an eagle incites its nestlings forth by hovering over its brood, so he spread his wings to receive them and bore them up on his pinions. The Lord alone was their leader. No strange God was with him. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. How wonderful is your name, O Lord, in all creation. How great is your name, O Lord, our God, through all the earth. Your majesty is praised above the heavens, on the lips of children and of babes. You have found praise to foil your enemy, to silence the foe and the rebel. When I see the heavens, the work of your hands, the moon and the stars which you arranged, what is man that you should keep him in mind? Mortal man that you care for him. Yet you have made him little less than a god. With glory and honor you crowned him. Gave him power over the works of your hand. Put all things under his feet. All of them sheep and cattle, yes, even the savage beast, birds of the air and fish, and make their way through the waters. How great is your name, O Lord our God, through all the earth. Glory to the Father and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, 
is now and will be forever. Amen. Psalm prayer. Almighty Lord, how wonderful is your name. You have made every creature subject to you. Make us worthy to give you service. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. A shoot shall sprout from the stump of Jesse, and from his roots a bud shall blossom. The Spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him, a spirit of wisdom and of understanding, a spirit of counsel and of strength, a spirit of knowledge and of fear of the Lord. And his delight shall be the fear of the Lord. Not by appearance shall he judge, nor by hearsay shall he decide. But he shall judge the poor with justice and decide the right for the lands afflicted. He shall strike the ruthless with the rod of his mouth, and with the breath of his lips he shall slay the wicked. Justice shall be the band around his waist, and faithfulness a belt upon his hips. Your light will come, Jerusalem. The Lord will dawn on you in radiant beauty. Your light will come, Jerusalem. The Lord will dawn on you in radiant beauty. You will see His glory within you. The Lord will dawn on you in radiant beauty. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Your light will come, Jerusalem. The Lord will dawn on you in radiant beauty. The Lord will set up His standard in the sight of all the nations. And gather to Himself the dispersed of Israel. Blessed be the Lord, Lord God of God Israel. He has come, come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies. From the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear. Holy and righteous in His sight, all the days of our life. 
You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare His way, to give His people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning is now and will be forever. Amen. To Jesus Christ, our Redeemer, who will come again in glory with great power, let us make our humble prayer as we say, Come, Lord Jesus. Come, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus, you will come with great power. Look on our lowliness and make us worthy of your gifts, we pray. Come, Lord Jesus. You came to be the good news for humankind. May we always proclaim your saving work, we pray. Come, Lord Jesus. You are worthy of praise, for you have life and rule all things. Help us to wait in joyful hope for the coming of your glory, we pray. Come, Lord Jesus. We long for the grace of your coming. Console us with the gift of your own divine life, we pray. Come, Lord Jesus. We remember in our prayers, our intentions for our families, our friends, our relatives, and for all those who are asking for our prayers. We continue to pray for the end of this pandemic. We continue to pray for all the frontliners. We pray for all the sick. We pray for all those who have died. We pray for the increase of priestly and religious vocation. We pray for the perseverance of all those who are in formation. We pray for all the pilgrims. We pray for the safety of all travelers. Comprehensive examinations. and we pray for our personal intentions. Let us make our prayers complete as we pray the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, let your glory dawn to take away our darkness. May we be revealed as the children of light at the coming of your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our morning prayer has been offered. Let us bless the Lord. And give Him thanks. <laughs> 